for many of the people we spoke with here in Angleton, they tell us they continue to be fervent supporters of Dennis Bonin, telling us that he has always served them well. Uh, he's had a great career. I mean, outstanding career. And unfortunately, things happen. After more than two decades representing the small Gulf Coast communities, from Angleton to Palacios, State Representative Dennis Bonin is not seeking re-election. The fall from grace coming the same year he was sworn in as Speaker of the House, the third highest ranking politician in Austin. This is a really unfortunate end to what was a very spectacular career one where he actually had reached the pinnacle of the Texas House as Speaker. It comes after a tape released from political watchdog group Empower Texans revealed Bonin was ready to target some in his own party who he thought were too moderate or he just didn't like. There were some homophobic comments about one representative from here in Houston, Representative Rosenthal. There were some comments about other representatives, about uh, them being vile. He's overheard appearing to offer activist Michael Quinn Sullivan press credentials in exchange for political coverage. Let me take what I want to yeah. do. So, well, real quick, you need to hear what I want to do? Okay. How do you? Well, no, you yeah, did. Yeah. You did. Hmm. We can make this work. I'll, I'll put your guys on the floor next session. But the 64-minute tape and his announcement have not swayed his supporters. As far as I know, Dennis hasn't done anything wrong. I just hear all what's coming out of Austin, and I will not change my support for him at all. So quite honestly, uh, it hurts, but he's a good guy. 